everyone. I'm back to share a little more yoga with you, a little yoga challenge. You know, vinyasa yoga in a way is like the original fitness yoga. And even though yoga is going towards more and more fitness, this is where it all began. And it's the famous teacher Krishmacharya, and particularly even People who do fitness could learn a lot from what we do within vinyasa. For instance, the whole use of ujjayi breath is really key. Use the sound, the constriction in your throat, use the stability in your core, and whether you're lifting weights or whether you're doing some other exercise, even with martial arts, is the same connection that you want, right? So I'm gonna go right in to a relatively strong practice here in a moment just to really show you how vinyasa can give you a lot of strengthening moves right within the flow, right? So, with, so strength for your upper body, strength for your core, strength for your legs, and all of that in a pretty short order. So here we go, we're gonna come to the top of the mat. Have your big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Spread your toes, ground your heels, and come into your chair pose, holding elbows above your head and draw your front ribs in, nail your heels down, tailbone down, hold here for a moment and connect to your ujjayi breath. So the sound in the throat, right? Keep your lower belly in and up. Subtle tones, the pelvic floor. Good, when you're ready, exhale, bring your hands down, let's go directly back to downward dog. So you can jump or step. Then inhale to a plank. Hold a plank. Activate your legs. Activate your core again. Widen across your chest. Your shoulder blades onto your ribs. Now let's lower down to chaturanga. Exhale, heart forward, shoulders even. Inhale, back up to plank. Hold again. Take one knee in towards your head. Exhale. Then go back. Inhale. Take the other knee in towards your head. Exhale. Go back, inhale, exhale, back to downward dog, lengthen through. Good, look forward, you can jump or step forward, feet together again, and come right into your Uttasana. Bend your knees, reach, hold your elbows, you can switch the hold. Sit into it, spread the toes, ground the heels, breathe, smooth ujjayi breath. So you can just sit a little deeper. Exhale, hands down, come directly to downward dog. Jump or step. Inhale to plank, hold. Again, activate. Good, lower to chaturanga. Elbows hug in. Inhale back up, hold. Take one knee in, exhale. Inhale back, other knee in. Inhale back. And then go back to downward dog, exhale. Look forward, jump or step between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold this time into the forward bend. Come to Uttasana again, bend your knees, reach. Hold your elbows again above your head. Really sink your tailbone towards the ground. Okay, this time, Step your left foot back into a lunge. Reach up, lengthen up. Dip the back knee towards the floor, exhale. Bring it back up, inhale. Down towards the floor, exhale. Bring it back up, inhale. One more time, exhale down, inhale up. Good, exhale, come back to a plank and lower down, chaturanga, inhale. Upward dog. Come back down to chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog again. Exhale, chaturanga. Press straight up. Inhale, plank, and then back to downward dog. Exhale. Let's start that from the top again. Look forward, hop or step between your hands. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Mukhtasana, hold your elbows. Fold, stay in it for a few breaths. Sink down low. So remember which foot we went. So this time, take your right foot back. High lunge. Reach up. Then dip the back knee down. Exhale. Inhale up. So dip down. Inhale up. One more time. Good. And then come back to the plank. Lower down. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Inhale. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Press straight up to plank. Inhale and then exhale back to downward dog. Good. Look forward. Jump or step between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Come to chair pose. Reach, hold your elbows. You can just keep switching. If you forget which one you're holding, it's okay. <clears throat> just sit into it. A little lower. Front ribs pull back. Okay, this time we'll do a more typical flow. Exhale, fold into your forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Look up. You can jump or step back from here. Directly to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Pull through. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg back and up. Inhale. Exhale. Head. Like a plank again. Hold. Then step through. Right foot steps. Plant the back foot. First warrior. Reach up. Okay. Square up towards the front. Let's come to a third warrior transition. Balance onto your foot. Take that back leg straight away. You can do any arm variation here you like. If you want to reach side or reach forward, hold steady. And we'll do a kick through. Take the left leg, kick it straight out in front. Reach your arms up. Hold. Keep stabilizing your core. Good. Lightly step back to first warrior. Interlace your fingers behind and bow into humble warriors. Bring your head down inside of the right foot. Good. Take your left forearm down and then turn onto the ball of the back foot. Reach the right arm up so you're in this twist with your forearm on the ground. Okay, leave that left forearm across, go to forearm side plank. So on the outer edge of the left foot, stack the right foot on top. Maybe float the right leg up. Maybe lift it up and down a few times. Good, come to a forearm plank. Hold steady. Keep breathing evenly. Uh, some of you might like to hold forearm planks for a long time, but I don't. So just slowly come down onto your belly, point your toes straight back, slide your hands to where your elbows are, and slowly come up to your cobra. So it's not an upward dog, it's a cobra. All right, you stay on the ground. Thighs are on the ground. Keep your elbows a little soft. And then come back. Down we go. So we got this whole thing on the other side. <laughs> Left leg back, inhale. Bring your knee towards your head, hold.
and then step it through. Exhale, plant the back foot, reach up, first warrior. And then float through to third warrior when you're ready. Balance, kick strong through the back leg. Maybe reach your arms to the sides or lengthen up. Keep reaching your tailbone away, lower belly in. Good, I'm gonna do a kick through, right leg kicks. Reach your arms up, just kick up, hold. From here, go back to Third Warrior, and then step it down. First, interlace behind, and bow into Humble Warrior. Breathe. Good, from here, bring your right forearm down. Go into the ball of the back foot, just reach into this twist for a moment. I've decided to ignore the lefts and rights, you guys can figure it out, right? <laughs> just make sure you're doing both sides. And then keep your right forearm where it is, and go to the outer edge of the back foot. Stack that left foot on top of the right, or float it up. Maybe go up and down a few times. Good. And come to forearm plank. Hold steady. Maybe lift your lower abdomen towards the ceiling. Tailbone away from your head. And come on to your belly. Cobra, point your toes, slide your hands back to where your elbows are, anchor into your thighs, scoop your tailbone to the ground, and slowly lift the sternum, press your knuckles down, spread the toes out, and come back to Downward Dog. From the downward dog, take the right leg back and up, open the hip out. Then exhale, bring your right knee towards the right upper arm. Hold. Go back again, inhale. Exhale, step between your hands. Let's go directly to a side angle, so plant the back foot. The right hand stays inside the right foot. Turn, look up. First you can just reach the left arm straight up, keep rounding the back foot. Then take that left arm across your ear and look up underneath. Turning the left ribs up. Good, come up to second warrior. Open it out to a goddess squat. Turn toes out equally. Interlace your fingers, press your palms up. Good, we're gonna squat down to the back, left to the left leg. So go, exhale down, inhale up, back to the goddess. Same leg, exhale down, inhale up. One more time, to that same leg, exhale down. Inhale up. Good. Come facing the front again. First warrior. And then Chaturanga. Up we go. Back to Chaturanga. Up we go. Chaturanga. Press up to plank. And then back to our dog. Left leg back. Open the hip out. Bring your knee to the outside of the left upper arm, hold. Go back again, inhale. Exhale, step. Side angle, plant the back foot. 
Left hand inside of the left foot, right arm reaching straight up. And take that arm across your ear, and reach with the fingertips, look up underneath. Come all the way up to second warrior, just lift up, then turn it into a goddess squat, turn the toes out equally, interlace above, sit into it, and then when you go squatting towards the back leg, exhale, sit back into it, inhale up, back to the goddess, exhale, squat, inhale up. Last one. Exhale down. Inhale up. Okay, turn towards the front. First warrior, inhale. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Press straight up. And back to the dog. Good. Now bring your hands slightly close together. Hop or step your feet outside of your hands. Inhale, flow back. Exhale, fold. Come to a squat. Malasana. Well, just because it's fun, let's go up and down a couple times. We go inhale, straight up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then sit back. Prepare for Navasana. Float your legs. Extend out. Breathe. All the way, almost to the floor. Float there. Okay, stay here and just kick a few times. If you want to move your arms with your legs, you can. Okay, your right heel in, of course this looks like the left, so just do one heel in, square up towards the front, and reach, so you get a hold of your foot. Janu Shishasana, lengthen out, and fold. So I'm about to start wrapping up here, so after that one just Sit up, bring the right or that bent leg knee up. Wrap around the front, Marijasana. Instead of going forward, let's turn away from the legs. We wrap and turn. Right around your sit bones, lift your heart. Release and bring the right foot all the way across. You can do this with the left leg straight, so, or you can tuck that up. If you want to do a vinyasa from here, turn your pose to the left, come up, and hook, and lean out onto your arms, and then go back. Vinyasa. Okay, we'll do the other side. Well, before we do the other side, Navasana. Balance, kick out, hold, breathe. Come, fold almost to the floor. Hold, breathe. Do a few kicks. Like a Marionette. Doing yoga is a little bit like 
being a marionette. You have to be moved by the yoga spirit. <laughs> okay, and sit up, take your other heel in, and square off, reach. Hold your foot, lengthen out, Janu Shishasana, fold. Okay, left knee comes up, wrap around, or doing the other side, whatever you did. So you wrap, hold behind if you can get a hold, and then turn, look away in the opposite direction of that leg. Keep lengthening up. And finally, take that foot across. Either keep the other leg straight or tuck it in. And let's go to the twist here. So anchor the hip back, take the hand behind your tailbone, and then maybe hook across, reach a little deeper. Lengthen up through the sternum, the top of the head. And look back. Okay, well, if you did the vinyasa, on the other side, do it here. So you just come up, lean out. So you might kick the wall here. And then go back. Okay, come on to your back. And this is where we'll wrap up. So on your back, bring your knees in. Legs are vertical for a moment. You can tuck your hands a little bit under your hips. Exhale, legs towards the floor. Inhale, lift, lift your head, lift your hips. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Okay, and then when you come back up, hold for a moment, lift the hips, push your feet up, lift your head, look towards your navel. And from there, when you're ready, release, bring your heels right by your hips. So the feet are about hip width, keep the knees hugging in, slowly lift to a bridge. Really shrug your shoulders into the ground, interlace your fingers behind your back. Work those shoulders under you, shoulder blades up. Release your neck, keep grounding evenly through the feet. Soften into the breath. And then slowly release your hands and roll your spine down. Draw your knees in. Come to sitting, come comfortable sitting position. Let me just turn a little bit here. And I'll finish with a breathing practice. Like this, palms up, fold the, the thumbs in with your little fingers so the index fingers are extended. Take a breath, even and smooth through your nose. And inhale through both nostrils. Bring the right hand up and exhale through the left. Go out longer, 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 as far as you can. And then pause for a moment. Bring the hand down, inhale through both. Left hand comes up, exhale through the right. Go out longer, longer, longer. Pause at the end. Inhale through both. One more time, right hand comes up, 
Exhale and just release, clear through that whole left side. Clearing any grasping or clinging attachments. Inhale through both. Coming right into the center. And then exhale to the right. Clearing any aggression, aversion. Inhale through both. And just sit for a moment. And you'll feel a little more open, more energy flow, the channels clear more connected deep within yourself and I'll leave you with one Om Shanti Om Shanti 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 Om Peace to you all Namaste Well, whoever comes in the future, I hope you enjoy this. Take care. Bye.